Here it is. Messi! Many of you who for years have watched the channel know I'm a big fan of movies, but also I'm a massive fan of sports, particularly soccer. And Messi has just made his way to the MLS, playing for Inter Miami, a team owned by David Beckham. And there's a lot of really exciting things going on in the world of soccer just based off of this move. But tonight, Messi made his first appearance at a home game and, well, something pretty magical happened. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk all things major in the world, movies, sports news, and pop culture updates. Today, we are talking about Messi and his 94th minute screamer of a free kick that made his debut one he will remember for a very long time. You can see in the video here, he is absolutely buzzing, but let's check out the free kick. Here it is. Messi! I can only imagine the atmosphere down there at Miami when this happened. The 94th minute, the game's about over, the t score is tied, and Messi goes ahead and scores the winner. David Beckham very clearly, you can see, is absolutely beaming, probably a massive sigh of relief, because a lot of money and a lot of pulled strings and groups pulling together to get Messi into the United States really are what made all of this possible. Now, tickets for a usual Miami game prior to Messi coming over were anywhere from about $25 to $50 for normal general admission. All sales immediately halted when Messi was signed on and prices skyrocketed to $350 to $500. And those really expensive tickets have now all sold out for the next upcoming games. In fact, stadiums across the country are basically all sold out anywhere Messi is set to appear with Inter Miami. Now, these away games will be benefiting the teams where Messi will be joining, and Messi has an insane massive $50 million contract where he will be basically making a million dollars a week, but that's nowhere near as much money as he'll be making, also tying into his Adidas deal, which he made with them in order to come over the MLS, and his Apple TV deal, where he will be getting revenue split shares for all of the merchandise he sells, and even for the viewing on Apple TV. So Messi's about to go down in history as one of the biggest paydays, as far as one single contract goes because of all of the different rights and stipulations that he's been given. A lot of people have also been talking about, well, what does this mean for future stars at the caliber of Messi? In many different rooms and conversations, many refer to Messi as the GOAT. Now, there's a lot of dispute and debate as to who the actual GOAT of soccer is, but I think we can all agree Messi's definitely up there as one of the most talented and successful soccer players of all time. Now, other sports have their versions of the GOAT. For example, LeBron James in the NBA. Does LeBron James now have reason to maybe wonder if he's making enough money given his status and his current skill level in the NBA? And for every other league, like the NFL, maybe with Patrick Mahomes, who might not be the greatest quarterback of all time, but is certainly a hot commodity right now, and certainly one of the hottest quarterbacks in the NFL, is he maybe thinking, well, should I be getting some of these deals like what we are seeing with Messi? Now, personally, I don't think the answer to this question is yes, because the level of famous that Messi is individually on the scale of a sport that is truly global and international, I do believe it's very well understood and understood globally that soccer is one of the biggest sports, if not the biggest sport in the entire world. So Messi being the king of this sport where he has toured all over the world, playing in Barcelona, playing in France, playing for Argentina in an international level, winning the World Cup, some of the biggest and most followed sporting events in the world really does put him on that different level. And him coming from Europe, where soccer is played at its highest form, and switching over to the MLS in the United States, where the competition, let's be honest, really isn't the same. In fact, the MLS All-Star team just played against Arsenal, a team from England's Premier League, who didn't even win their league, in fact, they came second, and they just beat the MLS All-Star team 5-0 in an expedition match. So that really shows you the tilt and the difference of play, just from one league to another. Messi coming from one of these European leagues where he spent all of his career playing and winning 
Well, that's a massive step down for him, maybe, but he's towards the end of his career, and that retirement, well, that's really what he's doing over here at the MLS. Cashing in a big, massive check, well, he's earned that right through the years of being referred to as the greatest of all time, and bringing a massive international sport to the United States will only help the growth of the MLS, popularity of soccer in the United States, and then potentially future growth for all of the kids and younger people watching Messi play on American soil. The hype and the excitement and the emotion that was in the sold out stadium tonight in Miami is a perfect and prime example of everything that Messi will be doing for the world of soccer in the United States. But let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. I know this isn't one of our typical videos and don't worry, we'll still be covering Marvel news and movie updates. I just wanted to step out a little bit of the realm of movies and share something that I'm also passionate about because this is a channel where we've created a really awesome community and I think it might be time for me to start doing a little bit of dabbling, just slight dabbling, the majority of the content will still be movies, but just a little bit of dabbling outside of the world of movies, maybe talking about food, entertainment, sports, stuff like that. So. Subscribe if you'd like to stay along for that journey and let me know in the comment section down below what other categories you would love to hear me talk about here on Cosmic Culture.